A new study was just released by the Canadian DFO looking at the Northern Atlantic mackerel population and found that natural predators like seals are actually consuming more fish than we are. Welcome back to Tea of the Sea, and the study is the first of its kind from Canada looking to figure out ways to help the declining mackerel population. Now before all of you fishermen go, yeah, kill the seals, hear me out for a little bit because it's a lot more nuanced than just culling a seal population. Globally, the Atlantic mackerel species is not endangered in the slightest. It's not even listed as vulnerable or threatened. It is currently listed as least concern, meaning that at the moment there is no real threat of any sort of endangerment or extinction. But in the Western Atlantic, there are two spawning stocks of Atlantic mackerel, the Southern stock and the Northern stock. And the Northern stock is actually in decline. And the Northern Atlantic mackerel spawning stock is the population that Canadian fisheries go after when they're going after mackerel. And the study itself is the first of its kind to look at the consumption rate among not just people, but the natural predators of a population to try and figure out ways to help rebuild the declining stock. Now a whole wide variety of marine animals depend on large populations of fish, including Atlantic mackerel, for food, ranging from several species of birds, seals, several larger predatory fish like bluefin tuna, and whales all rely on the population. Now the study does not include whale consumption rates of mackerel in its database because whales are like elephants. You cannot control them and they're going to do what they're going to do. So it wasn't worth really factoring them in. What the study did find though is if they even looked at whales, outside of whales, the top predators of the Atlantic mackerel included gray seals, gannets, bluefin tuna, and a couple other species. And the study found that between 2012 and 2021, as a conservative estimate, these species consumed between 12 and 29,000 tons of fish. What's surprising is that's about twice as much fish as what the Canadian fisheries were reporting per year. They were taking around 11,000 tons every year. Now the study found that the gray seal population, which currently numbers around 300,000 individuals, was taking the most mackerel between 11 and 13,000 tons, but there was no real dominant predator. And that's mostly because gray seals, despite the amount of fish they were taking, mackerel only make up a small amount of their diet between zero and 4%. So while the seals aren't eating a lot of mackerel individually, the sheer number of seals that are eating the mackerel when they do does have an impact on the mackerel population. The next species to take a huge amount of mackerel are the northern gannets, who are taking between 11,000 and 23,000 individual mackerel. Now again, it's important to note that gray seals aren't primarily eating these mackerel. There's just enough seals that when each one eats a small amount of mackerel, that stacks up to make an impact on the population. Which is why the study was unable to find a specific top predator. It kind of fluctuated between the several species that they were looking at. All of this comes as Canada has been putting moratoriums on the Atlantic mackerel fishing industry for the last couple of years, and it's looking like they're going to do it again this year, despite this study. And currently, I don't really see any sort of solutions being proposed to help with the fishing industry and controlling the stock of mackerel that still exists. It's likely that most hardcore fishermen will say that we need to reduce the gray seal numbers because they're the ones eating the most fish. We're not even taking as much fish as they're taking, but it's not that simple. That would be a quick and easy temporary solution to drop the seal population in half, but then what's gonna happen to the rest of the ecosystem if that happens? Because there's a lot of animals that will feed on gray seal carcasses and even live seals like killer whales. But this study is still important because it gives a bit of data on the natural mortality of the Atlantic mackerel stock. Hopefully more studies are pretty quickly done in the wake of this new information to determine the best course of action to help rebuild the northern stock of Atlantic mackerel. But for now, that is all the information that we have.